It's a Hawaiian shake down. Hawaiian shake down. Hawaiian shake down. So, today's introduction game, introductory game. It's a wine shakedown, and man, it's a lot like uh, GTA 1 and 2, where it's a top down view. And uh, you know, it's very colorful, very Hawaiian. So, uh, if you like sort of that Ninja Turtles TMT throwback from like 30 years ago, or the GTA throwback from like 10 or 20 years ago, you're probably gonna love this. Um, it plays a lot like GTA 1 and 2 in the sense that you go around you're trying to hustle money from people who are using violence um, so yeah definitely not a game for kids um, a lot there's also alcohol and other things I think from what I remember um, there's a lot of shops in this game what makes it different from GTA from what I remember since the first two were so still a long time ago is eventually you start buying up buildings in the city and that's how you gain back revenue and the neat thing is uh, I really like the story of this game um, it's just there are other things to sort of bring it down like I think it's great that you can uh, collect a number of different uh, weapons like there's pretty much gangs on the street in this game and some have bats some have are like carrying heat you know pistols and stuff so you have to be careful like when you're walking around um, and you can like hijack uh, you know uh, delivery trucks all sorts of stuff that you kind of expect from this kind of game and uh, yeah I mean it's 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 a blast I feel like it's a blast when you're getting into the game but like very quickly within 30 minutes or so I found like it was sort of like um, you have to go from like point A, so say your house, to like point B, and then you have to go back to point A, then you have to go back to, then to point C, then you go back to point A. So that that was my main criticism. Like it sort of like gets repetitive quickly because the game seems very linear. Like instead of where, yeah, sure you can like go around and be like, yeah, I'm gonna bust a cap in someone's butt, but. Uh, I find like even that gets kind of boring like maybe maybe it's just me maybe I just find that boring and tedious very quickly um, another criticism uh, this is one I didn't actually pick up is you actually earn more money by like beating the crap out of people on the streets in this game than uh, you know doing it legitimately now I don't know if that's just the way that they wanted to design the game but I find that kind of funny, like you can go around and just beat up the whole neighborhood, the cops come, you bring out your pistol or shotgun or bat or whatever you want to use. Um, and I found it was pretty easy, I don't know if it gets harder later, but the, the cops are pretty easy to avoid. Like, it's kind of funny because like you can start driving through people's backyards, like there's things like that that like I don't remember GTA let you do. So in this is kind of like, okay that makes it a little bit more interesting. It's definitely a game that like it's entertaining in short bursts. Uh, the sense of violence and being like a public nuisance, it's it's it was shocking back then and it's still pretty shocking now. I just feel like it wears off very quickly, uh, just because repetition, as I was alluding to before. And uh, you know the um, you can change your cosmetics, your sunglasses, your t-shirts, the different color. I think it's mostly just color like and you can buy the buildings but I just feel like those are neat little things you can do but they don't really add to the game like I feel like they're not as far as I know you can't like upgrade your health or anything from the hour or so I played so that's a neat little thing um, I find like people that are probably more obsessed with like GTA and this type of game will probably be like oh yes finally uh, a classic you know homage to the classic GT games but like um, I just found like yeah there was just too much back and forth traveling and I felt like that kind of ruined the, the experience a little bit for me um, 
despite the colorful graphics and everything. Yes, yeah, so it's just like, it feels like a more of a chore, unfortunately, after a while. I don't know, maybe that's just my personal experience. Rather than a proper adventure or revenge quest, because the story, without spoiling the game, is you have these old businesses that are outdated, like, you know, VHS tapes, and, um, you know, now you, you have, like, brick and retail, uh, brick and mortar stores and now everyone's doing online shipping so there's a lot of jabs there's a lot of jokes and satire in this which is refreshing it's better than if they played it up straight like a classic gta game so i would definitely give this game uh i would definitely give it a solid 7.5 for probably most people but if you really like this kind of game i would give it to 8.5 you know it is something that you don't see very often it feels like a indirect sequel to the classic GTA games so anyways I gotta go shake down in the tropics keep on gaming bye